Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called The Keeper. This is a 2018 film. Uh, doesn't come with a rating that I know of. It does run two hours and it stars David Cross, Freya Maver, and John Henshaw. The description? The love story of a young English woman and a German POW who together overcome prejudice, public hostility, and personal tragedy. This is The Keeper. Well, hello everybody. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like any correspondence with me outside of YouTube, I do have my Facebook page. It's called Danny's Movies and Music. I have a lot of bonus content on there, so I'd really like you to check that out. Um, I know this doesn't really kind of go in line with newer movies, but this is what I do. I watch older movies that I haven't seen before. So I will go back to 2018. I will go back to 2010. I will go back to 2001, really, honestly. So um, as long as I haven't seen the movie before, uh, that's kind of how my channel works. So that's why I have so many videos being output you know more than anybody else really because I just watch a movie as long as I haven't seen it before so um, yeah I'd like to talk about this kind of at some length so I hope you're able to watch the whole video um, and kind of hear my soapbox kind of speech here but uh, first I'll talk about the movie um, is that I really think that the story is very unique um, it does have some war stuff and POW stuff at the beginning and we have to kind of go through that and then it starts to transition to the sports stuff uh, whether it be football or soccer or however you know it um, it kind of transitions to that part of the story it transitions to the romance it transitions to the rest of you know, their life after the war uh, with the Nazis and everything. And we have to endure a little bit of the prejudice stuff after the war of people not really wanting him to be playing for a national team. That kind of stuff gets, you know, intermingled in the movie. But it doesn't last that long, honestly. And it kind of seems like a very little part of the movie, that part, for the prejudice stuff. Um, and then honestly, as we go into the movie, like after the first third, uh, with the POW stuff, you kind of tend to forget about the beginning and how it kind of was. And as it transitions to the sport, it becomes more about his life. And, and then we have a part at the end that's really surprising and that kind of brings us back to the beginning. But otherwise, it seems like a sports movie for the most part. Very inspirational, very interesting and all that stuff. So I really hope that, you know, people can watch this and know that they are watching a sports movie that's inspirational. And uh, it's one of the most inspiring movies I've seen in a while at the first thing to say. And then... Um, the POW stuff is touching, it's heartbreaking, all that stuff, but it just doesn't seem as brutal as I've seen in other movies. We've seen a lot of different things, you know, with this kind of theme, uh, one with a Olympic runner, and um, so most notably there were two movies of that. And, um, you know, even some of the kind of underdog stories, uh, like Eddie the Eagle for the Olympics, movies like that. <coughs> excuse me a little cold and uh so anyways this is almost in, as inspiring as some olympic movies out there and i really do believe that this movie is up there with some of the best uh, as far as being inspiring having some kind of brutal stuff in it um reminding us that people are at war and that they can have prejudices afterwards and stuff so that part of the movie, I think, you know, all those things that the movie has to offer is really great. And then 
the acting I think is above par. Uh, we have a guy who plays kind of the main captain person at the POW camp. He plays a part in the movie, like a really big part in the movie. Uh, he does come back later, and then all the other soldiers, all the people that are helping out with the soccer team, um, all the people that help him have a job outside the POW camp, just everything that this movie has to offer, all the people involved, there's a large amount of people. I can't imagine how many people they needed to get this movie shot. Uh, to fill the soccer stadiums, to be on the soccer teams, you know, how they filmed this movie. It's just amazing, and everything that everybody had to go through to make a movie like this is got to be amazing. So that blows the mind. And honestly, the transitions were really smooth. Uh, there was nice soundtrack playing during the movie. There's all just all kinds of great stuff happening here. So... I'm going to kind of transition this video by saying that I'm giving this movie an A+. And uh, I'm, I'm going to give some more reasons why I'm giving it an A+, if you would like to continue watching. Otherwise, this is the point of the video where I'd like to say thank you. My name's Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and get some of them watched. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy your movies. A total A+, for The Keeper. Um, my continuing speech is going to start here then. Um, this movie took me a couple of days to make this video because my heart is pretty heavy after watching this movie. Um, I knew I was going to give it an A plus about halfway through because the movie affected me so much. And I think that... What I'd like to say is that this country, America, and the world, honestly, but I think America is struggling the most, is really struggling right now with choosing sides of things. Um, we just got mandated to wear masks in certain stores. Uh, we are going through a coin shortage. We're coming up to a really big election in November. We have a lot going on. There are tons and tons of more issues. You know, we have, you know, there's just a lot going on in this country and it's dividing people. And that's reality. That's fact. That's based what's going on nowadays. And this movie set in a long time ago period um, is on a big scale. And because it's with a sport that had, affects a lot of people throughout Europe and throughout the world, honestly, with how good that that soccer team was and how big of a deal they really are, even nowadays. Um, and it just got me thinking, you know, that when they went through the part of the movie where the fans... A large group of them did not want an ex-Nazi to be playing for their soccer team, especially after they were just at war with each other. And then they accepted him like the next scene. You know, like like I said in my review part, um, it really was not that big a deal of the movie. Like it didn't last that long. It didn't feel like to be that impactful because he was so good of a soccer player that it just kind of changed their minds when he started performing on the field. Like, people just tend to forget things that they are angry about. Especially when they get proven wrong on such a big scale. Like, somebody being one of the best soccer players in the world. Well, now you want him on your team, you know? And that just started to impact me because if people in a movie that happened in history can accept... A Nazi after they were at war with them don't you think that we can accept people on Facebook that disagree with us if we wear a mask in Walmart or not don't you think that we can accept people's opinions of Trump or Biden especially after we know who wins in November don't you think that these are minute 
you know, like issues that we are getting so mad at each other and it's dividing our country so much. Maybe I'm completely off base here, but all these little minute details that we tend to get so mad at each other for, you know, gun issues and uh, abortion, I mean, like, they're going to be long-lasting issues forever. It's not really something to divide us and make us hate each other so harshly. And I think this is one movie that proves that point, because... I'm so happy it got made. I'm so happy I was able to watch it. And I just feel like in the future, if I see a post on Facebook saying, you know, somebody against wearing a mask in Target or wherever, or somebody, you know, saying that whatever, whatever the issue is, I just hope that we can learn to love each other and accept each other because that's what people do. And this movie proves that point even more uh, by accepting a Nazi after they were at war with them. You know, so don't hate on minorities. Don't, you know, this whole Black Lives Movement go that's going on, that's another huge example. I'm sorry I didn't remember that already, but like black people are fighting for their right to get more notice in the world right now. And I feel like my personal opinion is that the women had to go through that. Obviously, Nazis have had to go through that. I mean, we're in a real critical time in history right now. And I hope that people realize what we're going through. Because if we just kind of skate on by, and you're not part of what happens in history right now, then... You know, you're not going to be a part of the solution. You're not going to be a part of the keeping the peace or anything. So I don't know exactly how to do that. I'm not trying to be a spokesperson. I'm just trying to speak from the heart here that I hope people are able to understand each other. I hope we are able to not so harshly hate each other for small issues like mask wearing. Uh, the Black Lives Movement is happening on a really big scale and just let people speak their voice you know just let it happen don't speak so harshly against each other don't make yourself that person to hate because if people in europe back when the nazis were having war could accept a nazi on their soccer team after hating him and then loving him uh i think we can do the same and i think history can repeat itself i think we can find our way through this time I do think the election is going to be a really big deal in November, but otherwise, let's try not to be so divided. Let's try not to hate each other, and let's try and accept each other. Um, so once again, for The Keeper, I'm so thankful that the movie got made. It just made me think. It's a very heavy movie, so if you watch it, please prepare yourself just to be thinking, to be very thoughtful and feel some emotion, because even if you're not a big soccer or football fan... Um, maybe you'll get something out of this movie uh, like I did. So thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time.